Welcome to today's quick hit video on creating soft keys on a Kronos InTouch clock. What we're currently viewing is the potential home screen of an InTouch device. Each one of these is considered a soft key. Notice that they have different labels, different colors, different icons, and there's also different functionality behind each. Notice that the punch in and out is pink, the punch view is blue. We're going to go ahead and take a look at how these were created and create one of our own. You will have to be a system administrator in the system. You're going to come into your gear for your company settings, go to system and terminals. You'll have one line entry in here for each of the in-touch clocks that you have. We'll click on the pencil and we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to our soft key area. I'm going to click on soft key one. And when we look at the information, we'll notice first that the color is pink. We saw that the label is punch in slash out. That's because that's how we type this label in. The type, which is the functionality, is what we call simple punch. And we have it visible by the employee. That home screen is also known as the employee screen because that's the first screen that's seen when employees walk up to the clock. If you notice, there's many different types of buttons that you can create. We had the data collection, which is where the simple collection or simple punch is. We have manager functions. And we also have ESS, which is employee self-service. And we're going to talk about a few of those in a minute. For the punch type, you also have a few other options. We've gone ahead and chosen the system determines in out for our punch. And then if you have gates, you can check that box and also decide the number of seconds for that. Off on the right hand side is where you go ahead and select the icon. So I'll click on the magnifying glass and as you can see there's a bunch of different options for you and if you mouse over each of these it gives you a suggestion as far as what that icon is for but you can use them any way you like. It's the, it's the actual type that's defining the functionality. The button here will always remain blue however the color selection here is what will display at the clock. If we go ahead and take a look at our next soft key if you remember that from our view that was something called view punches or in our case, we labeled it punch view. The type or the functionality is what we uh, selected as view punches and that's from our employee self-service section. We've gone ahead and made that blue. Now notice some of the options down here are a little different than that first one for punch in and out. We have a timeout, which is saying once you bring up your punches and you put them up on the screen, you don't want that to remain there if an employee walks away. So there's a timeout. We have that set to 30 seconds. You can make that larger or smaller, whatever your, whatever your company needs. My device is a fingerprint reader. So when I'm telling the system I want to view my punches, it's going to make me verify myself not only by my badge, but also by, by my fingerprint. You can also prompt for a pin there is a pin set up within the employee file in a hardware section. That is something your admin will have to set up for you. It is different from the password that you log into the system with. So now let's go ahead and create one of our own. All of these blue buttons are indicating that these soft keys are already created. So I'm going to go down now to my next one, which is soft key nine. Click on it. First thing I'll do is check the box. And we're going to have to decide the type. Well, what are we trying to create? Well, maybe we want employees to go ahead and view their schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and select from the ESS section, view schedule. I want it visible by the employee. The default label is just button. So we want to go ahead and change that and we can call it the same as the type or maybe we just shorten it to schedule view. The color we can leave as a default or we can certainly select something else. I'm going to go ahead and select green. Most companies usually have one or two colors that they may use. I'm going to leave the standard timeout for 30 seconds. And because my device is a fingerprint reader, I want my employees to verify their finger. We can then come over and then choose our icon. And I'm going to scroll down. I have one that I like to use for that, which is kind of like a calendar. And then I'm going to save it. That's it. Congratulations. You've just created a soft key. Thank you for watching and have a great day.